Hey babes, it's Kayla Craft with the Mommy Millionaire Podcast. I'm a mom of three littles, ER nurse turned self-made millionaire and lifestyle entrepreneur. I am bringing you inspiring stories, business and mindset tips to help you be shameless in pursuing your ambitions. Who is the being doing the doing? That is the question for today. Mommy Millionaires, it is time for the live event. October 24th through the 26th is our Mommy Millionaire Live in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I am so excited about this event because it's all about helping you scale your online business. So maybe you're making $500 a month right now. Maybe you're making $10,000 a month right now, but you want to make 20, 30, 50. Hey, come to this, come to this event. Cause we're talking all about how to scale your business model to help you create the income that you really, truly want to make. All right. And, uh, you know what I love is that if everybody in this room is going to be people that are building online businesses. And what I know about online business is that it can be really lonely because sometimes all you're doing is scaring on at a computer. You're looking at your phone, doing social media, you're connected to people, but you're not truly connected. We all crave that in-person community and the live event is just your chance to do just that and really find your people. That is the number one takeaway I got was that everybody found their besties, like they said it. And uh, I'm really happy to announce that Molly Pittman will be one of the keynote speakers at the event. She's the former VP of digital marketing, and now she runs her own marketing and marketing firm where she teaches teams how to develop their brands ads. And she's going to be teaching you all about ad strategy and really how to get the most bang for your buck when it comes to ad buying online. So that is huge, huge, huge. Okay. There's so much value in just that one alone, but we'll be announcing more and more speakers as it gets closer to the date. So head over to mommymillionaire.co to pick up your ticket today. (laughs) I feel like Vanna White. So Today is the day we're talking about who is the being that's doing the doing. And I want you to think about people right now that you know that are successful. And, uh, you know, you look at them and you're like, I'm doing the same thing as them. I'm, I'm following the same actions as them, but they have millions of dollars more than me. What the heck am I missing? Right? Um, well, I'll tell you what's missing is the being. Okay. I remember being so frustrated when I was first building in the first couple of years of me building my network marketing, because I would tell this person sitting in front of me, she was so hungry. I mean, there were so many women that were so hungry for success. You know, they wanted it. And I'd say, okay, I need you to do A through Z. And I need you to do it every day for the next 30 days. Most people wouldn't do it every day. They would find their excuses, right? Um, and some people would, some people did do the do. They did it day after day after day and nothing changed for them. They didn't have success. And I'm like, gosh, what is wrong? Because I just did that and it worked for me and I'm continuing to do it and it's still working for me. So what is the disconnect here? And the more I read and the more I studied, I was like, oh, the disconnect is they're not me. And not, and I'm not saying that in a bragging way. I'm saying that in the difference is who does the action, right? And I used to call it the it factor. Now I know it's something much different than that. The people that have um, that influence factor is what I'll call it, are people that are really able to influence themselves and really, really, really believe in themselves and they live their lives at a very high vibration. And here's what I know the difference was is when you have unwavering faith in your vision for your life, where you're going, and maybe you don't know all the details about it, but you just know, I'm just going to be super rich one day. Maybe that's what it is. Or I'm going to be super free. I'm going to have a lots of impact on the world, whatever it is. And you're just 100% committed to it. Nobody could tell you otherwise. That's a, that's a very high vibrational state because you're excited. You're just, and it's not about being just excited. It's just about believing and having faith. Okay. That is, one 
person, right? And they're going to be doing the do and being the right person along the way. They're going to have success. And then the other end of the spectrum is the person that is very wavering, right? One morning, they feel good about themselves. The next morning, they feel like life is out to get them. People hate them. They're never going to be successful. And I'm telling you right now, that's the disconnect. And then you go out there and you, you prospect and you're trying to build your business and you're doing all the things, but because you're doing it with the wrong feelings behind you, you're not experiencing success compared to the person that doing is doing probably less action than you. Right. And this is what I want to accomplish for all of you. And this, I talk so much about this in the millionaire S society. And, um, what I'm excited about is that it'll be opening up in just a couple weeks. So if you guys haven't joined the wait list for the Millionaire S Society, it's my monthly membership program, completely focused on transforming your mindset. And that'll be opening up the end of August. So make sure to keep your eyes and ears open for that. But here's the thing. Let's transform the feelings because feelings are created by thoughts, right? And so if you're having the wrong thoughts that are creating the wrong feelings, What is so empowering about that fact, because that is a scientific fact, is that a thought is just a thought. It is legit a thought. And thoughts can be transformed. They can change at any given second by you just making a decision, okay? Thoughts are not what actually create your reality. They're not. So if you think a thought like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared, okay, that's not, or I'm so scared um, that, you know, my kids are going to get hurt. You thinking that thought isn't manifesting that in the world, okay? But if you stayed in that feeling of, of that feeling, like if I really go into that feeling of what it feels like to be truly scared that something would happen to my kids, that my kids were in danger, oh, that's an overbearing, I can't even breathe feeling, feeling desperate, out of control. Oh my gosh, it's not a good feeling. Okay. That's if I entertain that thought and I really, you know, try to live in that thought, but I can see that thought because as a mom, of course, I'm going to think thoughts like that randomly. Right. And I'm going to look at it and go, Oh, I'm not even going to entertain that. Cause that's not going to happen. Right. Because why would I entertain something? I do not want to happen. <laughs> why? No, heck no. I do not want to live in that feeling. What I want to do is experience my life right now, experience the joy that my kids bring me and just love them. No, I cannot control everything that's going to happen in the the universe around me. What I can control is how I'm living my life right now. And how I want to live my life is being in the feeling of happiness, gratitude, and love towards my kids. Right? So I just change the thought and I go, Oh, my kids mean the world to me. I am so blessed to be their mother. That's a thought. I'm so grateful to be their mother. I am a good mom and my kids love me. And I entertain that thought. And all of a sudden this feeling comes that is just, oh, I could take a deep breath. I feel happy. I get a smile. I have a smile on my face right now. And I just want to go give them a hug. I feel so much overwhelming love for my children. Literally, instantly. It's an instant change in thought, right? So I entertain that thought. Oh gosh, I love my kids so much. I love my kids so much. They're my everything. And that feeling is love. Well, when I'm experiencing and feeling love, um, what do you think I'm giving out to the world? More love, right? More love. And when you give love, you will receive more love. And love comes in all forms, okay? So hopefully you guys are seeing this. Whatever thought you're experiencing, you can continue to fight for the thought that is not serving you, or you can truly just dismiss the thoughts that are no longer serving you. Okay. Uh, just the other day I'm on this detox, right? And the thought came up that I really wanted to eat really bad, some pizza. Okay. So this was this thought (laughs) and this is funny. I'm right by my kids and I'm I'm wanting to eat the pizza. And I realize, okay, wait, 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 wait. My thoughts are not me. My thoughts are not me. Okay. So the thought that I'm having that says I want pizza is not really my thought. So instead of ignoring the thought that was there, I said, you know what? I'm choosing to dismiss this thought. 
I dismissed the thought. So I literally said outside, I dismissed the thought of wanting to have pizza. And I'm entertaining the thought that I want to eat foods that honor and make my body feel amazing. Okay. And I just started to entertain that thought. I'm like, okay, what are the foods that make me feel like I love my body, that I'm honoring my body? And I'm thinking, okay, fruits, veggies, juices, water, right? All of those things feel really good for my body. And so I started to entertain that. And all of a sudden the cravings went away. And then of course, a couple hours later, because I've, I've been so hooked to the identity of being fat that it's a, it's a constant battle. And so I'm trying to reframe my identity right now. Right. But anyways, it came up a couple moment hours later and I just said the same thing. You know, I dismissed that thought of wanting to have coffee and I'm entertaining the thought of the foods and the liquids that make my body feel really, really good. So it's saying, I dismiss it. That's not allowed here. <laughs> I dismissed that thought. Some of you guys are having the thought of, oh my gosh, she's so much more charismatic than me. And she has so much more influence than me. And I'm never going to be as successful as her. Well, yeah. Okay. Is that a thought that is going to serve you? No. But if you still have that in the back of your mind and you start to have that feeling of comparison that's stealing all your joy right now, what is the feeling that overpowers you? Honestly, if you're thinking comparison, it's a feeling of, oh, yuck. You're depressed. You're sad. You feel hopeless. A feeling of hopelessness is not going to help you grow your business, right? So you can change the way that you feel by changing what you think. And I heard this a while ago. If you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. I hear women say all the time, I know I'm, I'm just really struggling with, you know, believing that I'm worthy of success, even though deep down, I know I am worthy, but I just keep struggling with that thought that I'm not, that I don't deserve it. I'm not worthy of success. I'm like, okay, if you keep saying that out loud, guess what? You're going to continue to get in your life. Failure after failure, you're not going to see success because you're continuing to fight for the struggle. You're continuing to fight for the fact that you were unworthy of success. So of course, the world is going to give you what you want, right? You wanted proof that you're not worthy. So you'll get proof. So today, the question is this, who is the being doing the doing? Who is it that you need to become in order to have the life you want. When I think about who I want to be 10 years from today, somebody that experiences freedom, somebody that says yes to whatever they want to say yes to, finance is of no problem at all. And I get to give back to my family in a big, magical way and give them experiences like they've never had before in their life, that is truly what I will be living, right? I know that. And the feeling that comes along with that is just one of pure, just freedom and joy and faith and trust and just just surrender. Just like, ah, I'm just here to, to live my life and live my purpose out and not worrying. There's no stress at all. Okay. That's the feeling I need to be feeling right now. That's the feeling. I can, I can feel joy right now. I can feel happy right now, no matter how much money I have in my bank account, no matter what I can choose to feel happy because the thought I need to be thinking is freedom. What brings me freedom? What brings me happiness? What makes me the happiest thing in the person in the world? What makes me happiest is being with my kids and playing with them. Okay, go do more of that. Instead of hustling more, no, go do more of that. Go do more of the fun things that bring out that feeling more. That's why that work hard, play hard is a real thing. It's actually like the harder you play, usually like you do experience more success in your life. (laughs) Crazy, crazy, crazy. I used to hate when people would say to do that. I'm like, you're out of your mind. (laughs) Like I need to hustle more. No, who is the being doing the doing? Anytime something's not working in your life, ask that question. It's a very powerful question. 
How did I show up today? Who am I being in this relationship? Who am I being as a mother? Who am I being as a friend? Who who am I being as a businesswoman, as a digital CEO? How did I show up? Constantly, anytime you're not getting results in your life, pull the mirror up, take 100% ownership of your life because wealth and success, they will follow you wherever you go. Once you make your mind up that that is what you will have, nothing, nothing or no one can slow you down or speed you up like you can. I want you to write that down. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to observe our thoughts and we're not going to make our thoughts wrong. Don't get mad at yourself for having a bad thought. Oh, you're so not evolved, right? No, it's okay. It's okay if a bad thought comes up. It's fine. You're not manifesting that into your existence. What you're saying is, okay, I'm, I'm going to dismiss that thought because it's not serving me. I'm going to think a new thought. Okay. Your thoughts are so repetitive. You have 70,000 thoughts a day. Some studies have shown. Okay. So if you can spend more time becoming certain about your vision and entertaining that and having that go through your mind 70,000 times a day, imagine where your life would be. Everything, and I'm saying everything is possible to the extent that you are certain. You become certain by having faith and you have faith by persisting. You create that faith. You keep going. I'm going to keep going until. I am going to keep going until. Persistence is what separates the winners from the losers. And, and life is a game. I hope you guys know that. It is a game. It is a game because some people have figured out the game. Some people have figured out how to win all the monopoly money because money is not actually real. <laughs> it's not. It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. So if there's people that have become billionaires in this world all on their own, there is no reason why you can't do the same. No reason why I can't do the same. You just have to be completely 100% certain. And when you have belief, all of a sudden, all things make sense. Everything seems possible when you have 100% belief in your vision and knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt, this is going to happen. Okay? So... You're going to observe your thoughts. You're going to be 100% committed to your vision. Then know this, whatever you want in your life, okay? Whatever you want in your life, help someone else have it first. Hey, you want to grow your audience online? Hey, help somebody else have an engaged audience. Go and comment and like on other people's posts. I've been doing that a ton. Okay. Um, Hey, you want to have more money in your bank account? Hey, be more generous. Hire people, right? Don't be greedy. Don't be scared. Everything comes back to you. Everything. You will always reap what you sow. So sow the good seeds in your mind. Sow the seeds of belief in your mind. And there's going to be those bad weeds that pop up in your mind, the, the negative thoughts, the negative Nancy's the drunk monkey coming up to try to keep you in survival mode. So you could choose, I'm going to water this and entertain this thought right now. Or you could go, I'm going to dismiss it. I'm going to pull the freaking weed from the mind. And I'm going to focus on the thought that is going to get me to where I want to go. Okay. This is such a powerful, powerful thing. And we've been talking so much about mindset lately because what I've seen so many people struggle with is this fact right here. They'll say, Kayla, I know I I have six. I know I'm a, I can be a successful person. I see it for me. I literally see it for me, but I just, I just, you know, I just have all these issues come up and I struggle with the self doubt. And I'm like, you're literally contradicting yourself in one sentence. You're literally contradicting yourself, right? So you can't have doubt and faith at the same time. They don't live in the same place. So you entertain the doubt or you entertain the faith? What do you want? What do you want? Well, what I want is success. I'm going to entertain all the thoughts that will give me success. I believe in myself. I am worthy. I am deserving of success. 
The more I help other people, the more I'll get what I want. Okay. Okay. You know, keep going. Those are the thoughts. That's why this is the hardest work. People say, oh, you know, hustle and ease and flow. Dude, mindset work is the hardest work in the world. It is the hardest work because it's nonstop. When you are building the foundation, when you're gutting out a freaking home that was, has been built and is rickety rackety, if you're 30, I'm 32 years old, right? Imagine if I was just to start this personal development, which most people start, are starting in their 30s, right? You, your whole mind was built on a rocky foundation. And now, you know, you have to, you have to freaking break down everything right now (laughs) and start from scratch. Okay. You got to get that foundation, right? So right now you're detoxing all your thoughts. You're pulling out all that old framing that was built on unsolid ground. Okay. That's why you have a leak in your roof and your house shakes all the time and it's very unsteady. All right because the foundation. So let's get the foundation right. Let's start thinking the things we need to think and everything else needs to go. It needs to seriously go. And you're probably going to lose weight from it. You probably will. I am so proud of all of you guys that are committed to this work, committed to becoming the millionaire that you are destined to be. Make a decision today. Draw a line in the sand. Say, I will no longer tolerate these thoughts that are not serving me. I'm stepping over to a new me, changing my being, changing my identity today to become something new so I could have something I've never had. I love you guys. I hope I'll see you at Mommy Millionaire Live. Remember to head over to mommymillionaire.co to check out all of our podcasts to grab a mommy millionaire live ticket and check out some of the blogs we've been doing lately. They're full of good Instagram advice and date night advice and all this amazing stuff. So we'll talk next time. Remember ladies, the key to having what you want is to be the right being. Love you guys. Thank you for listening to the Mommy Millionaire podcast. For free resources and materials, head over to mommymillionaire.co. Make sure to follow Mommy Millionaire on Spotify and subscribe on iTunes. And it would mean the world to me if you left a five-star review of the show. And as always, ladies, go out there and get what you want.